हेलो एवरीवन हाउ आर यू ऑल आई एम फहीम वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल यू एम ट्यूटोरियल टुडे इन माय वीडियो आई विल बी टीचिंग यू द बेसिक स्ट्रोक्स इन इंग्लिश फॉर किड्स सो फ्रेंड्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो इफ़ यू हैव इन सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इट प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेलाइकन सो दैट यू विल बी अपडेटेड विथ ऑल माई अपकमिंग वीडियोज सो टुडे आर वीडियो इज रिगार्डिंग strokes and also english alphabets okay so children the most and important thing we should remember is we should always follow the four lines in english to write english alphabets we always use these four lines according to the letter fine for some of the letters we'll be using just the first three lines for some of the letters we'll be using just two lines or for some of the letters we'll be using the second third and fourth line according to the situation we'll be using these lines okay for all the capital letters we'll be just using the first second and the third line okay children right now we'll be starting with the first stroke that is standing line Are you all able to see this? This is a standing line. Okay. Now you can see here. I have given two dots here. So what do we have to do is we just have to start writing from this dot to the dot which is below on the third line so this is the first line this is the second line and this is the third line we are starting from the first line to the third line and this is a standing line okay children this is a standing line so now the next one we have is a sleeping line here you can see i'll be starting from the first dot to the dot on my right side okay children this is the sleeping line okay here this third one is the right slant line okay right slant line will be like writing like this this is your right slant line and this is your left slant line from the left we are starting it so it's a left slant line okay now this is our right curve what is this this is our right curve it means it's open on our right side okay so this is our right curve now this is our left curve from this dot i have given a stroke till here so this is left curve and the next one is upward curve from here from the first line will be touching the third line then again we will go upwards towards the first line so this is our upward curve now the next one is downward curve we'll be starting from the third line we'll go upwards then we come downwards to the third line so this is the downward curve the next one is a circle this is a circle from the first line to the third line we are just writing a circle got it children now the next one is dot okay can you see this dot we have a dot here this is called as dot now here you can see some 
lines which are towards your right from the right you are writing it towards your left these are the slant lines so we call it as zigzag lines okay zigzag lines these are the zigzag lines okay children so children these are the different strokes which will be using to write the alphabets standing line sleeping line right slant line left slant line right curve left curve upward curve downward curve circle and dot and also one more is zigzag line okay so children after doing these strokes we will be starting the alphabets alphabets in english okay so there are in total there are 26 alphabets so one by one we will be learning how to write all the alphabets okay children so you can see here there is a letter a this is a capital a and this is small a so here you can see a dot from this dot this is your first line from this first line you will be drawing a right slant line to your third line from this first line you will be drawing a right slant line to the third line and a left slant line then a sleeping line so this is your capital a once again we'll be doing it this is right slant line and this is left slant line this is your sleeping line okay this is the letter capital a so children now i'll be showing you how to write the small a the letter small a just make a small circle in between the second and the third line the second and the third line make a small circle you should not go above this line or below this line you should be in between these two lines okay children so exactly you should be writing in between these two lines just draw a circle in between the second and the third line then a small curve this will be your small a okay children this will be your small a i'll be writing it once again small circle in between the second and the third line and a small curve this is the letter small a so the words that start with the letter a are do you know children yes a for apple a for aeroplane a for ant so these are the sum of the words that starts with the letter a very good now we'll be seeing how to write the letter b what is this this is the letter b okay children so from this first line to this third line we'll be writing a standing line then a left curve from the first line to the second line and one more left curve from the second line to the third line this is the letter capital b okay we'll write it once again standing line left curve one more left curve this is capital b now children i'll be writing the small letter b standing line from first line to the third line and a left curve in between the second and the third line okay children 
this is small b i'll write it once again standing line from the first line to the third line and the left curve from the second line to the third line okay children for capital b we are writing a left curve even from the first line to the second line but for small b we are just writing the curve from the second line to the third line that's it okay children so children with the letter b do you know the words which starts with the letter b yes b for ball yes b for bat very good b for ball and b for bat these are some of the words which starts with the letter b yes now we'll be writing the next letter that is c c okay this is the letter capital c and this is the letter small c we'll just see how to write these letters so from this dot we just have to start writing a right curve to the third line from the first line you have to write a right curve to this third line this is letter capital c i'll be writing it once again right curve from the first line to to the third line so this is the letter capital c small c will also be seen just the size will be reduced okay children so small c will be writing in the second and the third line we just have to touch the second and the third line and write a right curve okay this will be your small c so children this is capital c and this is small c so the words that starts with the letter c what are some of the words c for cat c for car yes yes now we'll be writing the next letter this is letter d this is capital d and this is small d let's start writing the letter d we have to start from the first line to the third line a standing line we have to write a standing line from the first line to the third line and a left curve from the first line to the third line this is the letter capital d i'll write it once again standing line and a left curve okay now i'll be writing small d we just have to write a standing line from the first line to the third line then here the curve will be different this will be right curve okay this is right curve so this letter will be small d standing line and a right curve right curve should always be written for small d in between the second and the third line okay now we'll be writing the next letter before that so do you know some of the words with the letter d yes d for dog d for door these are some of the words which starts with the letter d now we'll be writing the next letter that is e okay that is e capital e and small e so we'll start writing the letter capital e we'll be starting from the first line to the third line and a sleeping line first line to the third line will be a standing line then a sleeping line on the first line sleeping line on the second line sleeping line on the third line this will be your letter capital e standing line 
sleeping line sleeping line one more sleeping line so there will be one standing line and three sleeping lines so this will be your letter capital e now to write small e we'll make a small circle near to the second line and make a right curve this will be your small e okay this is small e this is capital e and this is small e so some of the words that starts with letter e are e for elephant e for egg yes good now we'll be writing the next letter that is f f this is capital f and this is small f how to write the letter f we just have to start with the first line we'll be writing a standing line from the first line to the third line then one sleeping line on the first line and the other sleeping line on the second line this will be your capital f in f we'll be having one standing line and two sleeping lines that will be your letter capital f now here we'll be writing capital f one more time that is standing line from first line to third line sleeping line on the first line and one more sleeping line on the second line so this is the letter capital f now we'll be writing the letter small f first write a standing line from first line to third line then make a small downward curve and a sleeping line this will be your letter small f i'll write it once again standing line from first line to third line small downward curve and a sleeping line so this will be the letter small f here we have capital f and here we have small f so some of the words which starts with the letter f are f for fish f for fan f for frog yes so these are some of the words that starts with the letter f now we'll be writing the next letter that is g g this is capital g and this is small g so to write capital g we'll be starting from the first line a right curve to the third line then we'll touch the second line from the second line we just have to write a small sleeping line and a standing line from the second line to the third line this will be the letter capital g we'll write it once again a right curve from the first line to the third line touch the curve to the second line write a small sleeping line then a standing line till third line this is the letter capital g okay now we'll be writing small g to write small g we just have to make one small circle in between the second and the third line write a standing line and then a left side upward curve small upward curve this will be the letter small g we'll write it once again small circle in between second and third line standing line and a small upward curve on the left side this will be your small g so these are the letters capital g and small g so some of the words that starts with the letter g yes g for goat g for gun yes these are some of the words that starts with the letter g now we'll be writing the next letter that is h this is letter capital h and this is letter small h to write capital h we'll be starting from the first line to the 
third line we'll be writing a standing line and we'll be writing one more standing line on the opposite side means here there will be one standing line and here there will be one standing line we'll be writing a sleeping line in between these two lines so this will be the letter capital H from the first line we'll be writing a standing line to the third line we'll write in the same way from the first line to the third line a standing line and a sleeping line in between these two standing lines this will be the letter capital H now I'll be writing the small h from the first line to the third line we have to write a standing line and a downward curve from the second line to the third line this will be the letter small h a standing line from first line to the third line then downward curve from second line to the third line this will be the letter small h okay so this is letter capital H and this is letter small h so some of the letters that starts with the letter H are H for hen, H for horse etc okay so these are some of the letters that starts with the letter H now we'll be writing the next letter that is I I this is capital I and this is small i i for ink pot yes so this is capital i and this is small i so we'll be writing capital i to write capital i we'll start from the first line to the third line a standing line and a sleeping line on the first line and then one more sleeping line on the third line this will be your letter capital I standing line from first line to third line sleeping line from on the first line and one more sleeping line on the third line this will be your letter capital I now if we want to write small letter I then we have to start from the second line to the third line start writing small standing line then a dot this will be the letter small i standing line and a dot so this is the letter small i so what did i tell you the word starting with the letter i yes i for ink pot i for ice cream yes these are some of the words that starts with the letter i okay this is capital i and this is small i now we'll be writing the next letter that is j this is capital j and this is small j capital j and small j to write capital j we'll be starting from the first line we have to write a standing line from first line to third line then make a small upward curve from your left side okay this will be your small upward curve from your left side and a sleeping line on the first line this will be your letter capital J okay this is the letter capital J I'll write it once again standing line from first line to third line then a small upward curve on the left side then a sleeping line on the first line this is capital J now let's start writing small j start from the second line to the fourth line we should repeat the same process like write the standing line then make a small upward curve on its left side then a dot okay this will be small j standing line upward curve then a dot this will be small j okay children so 
tell me some of the words that starts with the letter J. Yes, J for jug, J for joker. Yes, these are some of the words that starts with the letter J. Very good. Now, we'll be writing the next letter that is K. The next letter is K. So, what we have to do is, this is the capital K and this is small k. This is capital K, this is small k. We have to start writing standing line from the first line to the third line yes we'll be writing standing line from first line to third line then we'll write a right slant line from first line to the second line and left slant line from second line to the third line this will be the letter capital K we'll write it once again standing line from first line to third line left this is your right slant line from first line to second line this is your left slant line from second line to third line this is to write small k we'll be writing a standing line from first line to third line and a right slant line from the second line and a left slant line in the same second line we just have to touch the second and the third lines with those slanting lines okay got it standing line right slant line and a left slant line we should not go above this line or go below this line we just have to write the slanting lines only in between these two lines okay so this will be your letter small k capital k small k so what are the words that starts with the letter k k for kite k for kangaroo and k for kettle and there are Many more words which starts with the letter K. So these are some of the words which I have told you. Okay. Now we'll be writing the next letter that is K. Sorry. Now we'll be writing the letter L. Okay. So let's start writing the letter L. This is capital L and this is small L. Here what we are doing is we have to start writing a standing line from the first line to the third line and then on the third line we'll be writing a sleeping line so children is it not easier yes it's very easy to write the letter l we just have to write a standing line from first line to third line and a sleeping line on the third line this is letter capital l We'll write it once again standing line and a sleeping line this is letter capital L small l is we just have to write a standing line this is the letter small l okay so tell me some of the words that starts with the letter L L for lion L for lock yes very good these are some of the words that starts with the letter L. Fine. Now, we'll be doing the next letter that is M. We have to start from the first line to the third line. This is letter capital M and this is letter small m. Okay. So, start writing standing line from first line to third line. Yes then left slant line from first line to second line one more right slant line from second line to first line then a standing line from first line to third
third line so this is letter capital m okay this is letter capital m i'll write it once again standing line left slant line right slant line and one more standing line so this is letter m now i'll show you how to write small m a small standing line from first line to third line then a downward curve one more downward curve in between these two second and third lines okay this is the letter small m small standing line downward curve downward curve this is the letter small m so this is capital m and this is small m okay children so what are some of the words that starts with the letter m m for monkey m for mango yes m for moon yes very good very good now we'll be writing the next letter that is n okay this is the next letter that is n so this is capital n and this is small n so we'll start writing the letter capital n we have to start from the first line start writing the standing line from first line to third line then a left slant line from first line to third line then a right slant line from first line to third line this is standing line this is left slant line and this is standing line from first line to third line so this is the letter capital n I'll write it once again standing line left slant line and standing line this is letter capital n to write small n we will be writing a small standing line and and a downward curve in between the second and the third line this is the letter small n small standing line and a downward curve this is the letter small n so what are some of the words that starts with the letter n and for nose and for nest yes okay we'll be writing the next letter that is o this is o so is it not easier to write the letter o yes we just have to write a circle yes we just have to write a circle capital o will be from the first line to the third line and small o will be in between the second and the third line that's it o we'll be writing o a circle in between the first and the third line this is the letter capital o and now we'll be writing the letter small o just the circle o what are the words that starts with the letter o o for orange o for onion yes very good very good now we'll be writing the next letter that is p this is p this is capital p and this is small p so how to write the letter p start writing from the first line We'll be writing a standing line from first line to third line, then a left curve from first line to second line. Okay. I'll write it once again. Standing line, left curve from first line to second line. This is the letter capital P. Now I'll be writing small p. we have to start from the second line to the fourth line a standing line then a left curve this will be your letter small p standing line left curve in between the second and the third line this will be your letter small p now we'll be writing the next letter that is q before writing just tell me some of the words that starts with the letter p what are some of the words 
yes p for parrot p for peacock p for pigeon yes p for pink yes very good now we'll be writing the next letter that is q q this is capital q and this is small q so how do we write capital q and small q we just have to write one circle from first line to third line yes we have written the circle then make a slant line from the middle of the circle this will be your capital q and write it once again circle in between the first and the third line and a slant line from the middle of the circle this will be the letter capital q okay now we'll write the letter small q just write a circle in between the second and the third line small circle then a standing line from the circle to the fourth line then we'll write a small slant line right slant line from the fourth line to the third line okay children is it easier yes just write a circle standing line and a slant line this will be your letter small q circle standing line and a slant line so what are some of the words starting with the letter q q for queen q for quill yes these are some of the words okay good now we'll be writing the next letter that is r r what is this letter this is capital r and this is small r so how do we write start writing from the first line we'll be writing a standing line then we'll write a left curve from first line to the second line the letter looks as p yes is it not looking as p yes it's looking as p now what do we have to do is we just have to write a left slant line from the second line to the third line this will be your letter r standing line left curve and a left slant line this will be letter r okay this will be capital r for writing small r we just have to write a small standing line in between the second and the third line then a small curve touching to the second line this will be the letter small r standing line and a small curve this will be the letter small r capital r and small r so tell me some of the words starting with the letter r yes r for rabbit r for rat r for rose yes yes very good now we'll be writing the next letter that is s this is letter s so we'll be starting from the first line right a right curve then a left curve we'll be writing one right curve from first line to second line then one left curve from second line to third line this will be your capital letter s right curve from first line to second line left curve from second line to third line this will be letter capital s now to write small s we just have to reduce the size of the letter capital s and write it in between the second and the third line this will be the letter small s okay this will be the letter small s this is capital s and this is small s so what are some of the words starting with the letter s yes s for sh ship s for ship and s for snake good now we'll be writing the next letter that is t this is t 
T. This is capital T and this is small t. Capital T and small t. So, to write capital T, we will be starting from the first line to the third line, a standing line. We will write a standing line from first line to third line. Then we will write a sleeping line on the first line. This will be letter capital T. Standing line and sleeping line. Okay, this will be the letter capital T. Now to write small t, start writing from the first line, a standing line, then a small upward curve on the right side and a small sleeping line on the second line this will be the letter small t okay standing line from first line to third line up curve on the right side small up curve and a small sleeping line on the second line this will be the letter small t this is capital t and this is small t so what are some of the words that starts with the letter t Yes, T for tiger, yes, T for tiger, T for tail, good. Now, we'll be writing the next letter that is U. This is letter capital U and this is letter small u. To write capital U, we start writing from the first line and upward curve we'll start from the first line we'll touch the third line and then we go up to the first line this will be capital letter u okay capital letter u will be just upward curve okay capital u now small u small u how to write small u it will be written in between the second and the third line just write a small upward curve uh, a small upward curve in between the second and the third line and a small curve on its right this will be your small u small u capital u small u word starting with the letter u r yes u for umbrella U for uniform, yes. Now we will be seeing the next letter that is V. What is this? This is letter V. This is capital V and this is small v. Capital V, small v. To start writing the letter V, we start it from the first line. We touch the third line. We will be writing a left slant line from the first line to third line then a right slant line from the third line to first line this will be the letter capital V left slant line and a right slant line this will be capital V now to write small v we will be writing same as capital V but the size will be reduced it will be written only in between the second and the third line okay this is small v okay now we'll be writing the next letter before writing the next letter tell me some of the words that starts with the letter v yes v for violin yes v for van yes now We'll be writing the next letter that is w what is this letter this is capital w and this is small w to write capital w we have to write a standing line from first line to third line and a right slant line from third line to second line and the left slant line from second line to third line and a standing line from first line to third line this becomes capital w standing line right slant line left slant line and a standing line this will be capital w to write small w 
will be writing a upward curve in between the second and the third line one upward curve and the second upward curve this will be small w small w okay so what are some of the words that starts with the letter w yes w for watch w for well yes now we'll be writing the next letter that is x the next letter is x how do we write x we have to start writing from the first line a left slant line to the third line start writing a left slant line from first line to third line and one more slant line that is right slant line right slant line will be written from first line to the third line okay this is the letter capital x now small x will also be written in the same way but it will be written just in between the second and the third line this is letter small x so what are some of the words starting with the letter x x for x ray x for xylophone yes now the next letter is y what's the next letter next letter is y this is capital y and this is small y to write capital y we'll be starting from the first line we'll write a small left slant line from first line to second line then a big right slant line from first line to third line this will be the letter capital y small left slant line from first line to second line big right slant line from first line to third line this will be letter capital y now to write small y will be writing from the second line in between the second line we have to make a small upward curve then a standing line till fourth line and a small upward curve on the left side this will be the letter small y upward curve in between the second and the third line standing line and small upward curve on the fourth line from your left side okay now this is capital y and this is small y so what are the words starting with the letter y yes y for yak y for yat yes now we'll write the last letter that is z that is z this is capital z and this is small z capital z small z how do we write this letter z we'll write a sleeping line on the first line a right slant line from first line to third line then a sleeping line on the third line this is letter capital z okay sleeping line sleeping line right slant line sleeping line okay now sleeping line right slant line sleeping line the same way as we are writing the capital z we'll be writing the small z but the size will be reduced in between the second and the third line okay this is small z capital z and small z so what are some of the words starting with the letter z z for zebra z for zip so children these are 26 alphabets and some of the strokes which we have learned today hope you all have understood thank you children bye bye